Hey guys, I'm Mitch. I'm Austin. And this is Super Platinum Achievement and continuing our E3 coverage, we are going to dive in to probably what's the most anticipated uh, conference of the event. Yeah. And that's Microsoft together with Bethesda. We're going to talk Microbeth about Microbeth Mike, or Microbeth Mike Thresda. Bethesda Soft. Bethesda Soft. Whatever you want to come up with. Uh, We're going to talk about it though in just a second. So Microsoft and Bethesda are one and whoa, it's... Whoa, 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 hold on. If you're new here... Oh, yes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. It um, really does. So you can check out all of our other E3 content that is already released. Well, like one video. But more that will mm -hmm. be coming later after this video that you need, you need to watch. So you know what's going on. Yeah. So subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, also, check out our giveaway playlist, because we might be doing some giveaways here and there and giving some free stuff. Uh, we'll see. Don't miss out on it, though. And remember, if you like what you saw in this video, give us a big thumbs up. We also appreciate that. But yeah, Microsoft and Bethesda are now one in the same. Mm -hmm. And they have decided to do a They're joint... Same, same, but different. Same, but different. Mm -hmm. Decided to do a joint conference because, mm -hmm. well, that makes sense. Because, yeah, and, Microsoft always did a conference. Bethesda has done a mm -hmm. conference last five years, I think is what it was, four or five years. And now that they are together, they're just they going to do one big one. They're going to do a big one that we suspect is going to be like two hours long. I think it's going to be really long. And I think they're doing a big one, too, because I think this is mostly what Microsoft's ammunition is right now. They have no games at all. They don't. So No this hate is... to Microsoft. This is just the truth. They don't have any games aside from Halo right now, and that's still the end of the year. Yeah. They just don't have much, and Bethesda was their purchase to yeah. fix that. And, and, and Bethesda, as they do in their conferences, pretty much mostly everything they talk about is something that releases that year. Um, obviously, there's a few exceptions here and there, so I, I think a lot of what Bethesda's bringing is going to be coming to the Xbox this year. Or, or yeah, early, 2022, yeah. I think. But a lot, of them, a lot of them, is, it's always like, this comes out holiday of this year, so... We shall see. I don't know, last, the last time they did it was the exact opposite of that. So. Yeah, I guess it was two years ago. So that is June 13th at 11 a.m. Mountain Time mm -hmm. is when they do this conference. Uh, so that is going to be a doozy of one. I hope mm -hmm. so. Because um, Microsoft really needs to get something out there. Because, you know, not saying the PS5 has a ton of titles, but they will. So Microsoft And they have a lot more in Microsoft right now. Yeah. And, and the, the thing that bugs me, though, is that Phil promised us the best launch lineup ever mm. and it's been literally nothing mm -hmm. i mean we had the medium which is now coming which to... is a playstation 5 game yeah that's going to be so. soon so so this conference is big yes and i think starting i think actually starting the conference is going to be starfield yes i, do um, too. I think i think they're going to come out together todd howard phil spencer hand in hand maybe not but maybe. swing in and be like it's that month, so yeah. Um, it's going to be Starfield. Here is the game, gameplay release date coming out. I think either later this year or early next year. I would be shocked if it's this year. I'm going to say it's spring of 2022. So early, earlier next year. And I don't think they're going to give us a date. I think we're going to get a window. A window. But I think that is. I think that's what they're going to open the <clears> show <throat> with and show off. But the, it's going to be a. I think it has to be a really in depth. Of what the game is not mm -hmm. not an actual not like a trailer like dude starfield hey pew 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 moving on no i think we need it's gameplay gonna be like we need this game's almost done yeah, yeah we need mechanics we need stuff like that so i think yes. that's how they're going to open the show and i think that would be a smart way to open the show so. the next one um and this might not necessarily be in order yeah um but i do think that one is going to be the first they talked about but another game i think they are going to talk about and show us some gameplay um, is the new Obsidian title RPG, Avowed. Yes. That we also got during the last Microsoft conference um, that I'm pretty excited for. It looks good. It looks very Elder Scrolls-esque. Obsidian, as we all know, does not mess things up. They do great. They they do. It's they really knocked good. it out of the park. I am excited for this game. I think we're going to get a, also a good gameplay trailer and a release date. And I that might, that might going... be one coming this year. I, I would not be surprised if we get Avowed holiday this yeah. year. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm really excited for that. Um, 
because that game looked awesome and Obsidian knows what they're doing. So, yeah. so Obsidian's great, and I, I, I'm glad that you know there's a chance maybe Obsidian and Fall, uh, Bethesda can maybe do something together. Maybe we'll, we'll talk about that. In a second, a bit. Uh, but speaking of uh, keeping with Bethesda theme, we think there's going to be a ton of Bethesda games. Obviously, that was the big, you know, almost seven billion dollar purchase or however much. Seven point two. Yeah, over seven billion dollar purchase. Um, so they need to be heavy on the Bethesda games. So mm-hmm. I think uh, Wolfenstein Three is going to show up for sure. Um, maybe obviously I don't know exactly what else we might get something else from Arcane but I know Death Loop's coming out um the end of this year so that might be a little weird yeah um but I think Bethesda is going to be out there pretty big um showing off probably a lot of new titles we actually haven't even heard about um, from the smaller studios uh but I think Wolfenstein 3 for sure is going to be the big one yeah that that's and that actually might be one that's going to be coming out this year as well I'd be surprised because we haven't seen anything. But that's, I mean, that's kind of what. But they, that's what they do. Like, what? hey, by the way, this game is done. Yeah. Um. So we might, but uh, with Microsoft having so much studio power, I think they are going to spread it out a little bit and yeah. have us like do what Sony's been doing for so long and have like every two, three months a big game come out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the first of that big game release, I do think Wolfenstein is going to be in there. I think it might be early next year, maybe mid next year. But I think the first game we're going to see come from Microsoft is Hellblade 2. Yeah. I think that might be one that they're like, by the way, this game releases next month. Or today. And, uh, yeah, who knows? <laughs> you never know. Uh, and I am excited for that because Hellblade was phenomenal. It was a very short game. Um, but sometimes short games are still really, really good and really enjoyable. The story, the mechanics, just the way you felt while playing oh, Hellblade, yeah. Hellblade was, was amazing. Was a, play with headphones, ex- by the yeah, way. Yeah, it was Please, an experience for sure. So we and it's beautiful. It yeah. was like I went back and I played Hellblade not that long ago, and I'm like, this feels like a next gen game already. So it was so done. I so really well. hope Ninja Theory kind of just can move that to this next game and just just knock it out of the park. I think that's gonna be the first one we see. Released. You think so? Mm-hmm. All right, so. That's going to be, uh, yeah, I can't, I think I, I can agree with you on that. Obviously, Microsoft has bought so many studios. There's going to be, there's probably going to be, I bet, 50 games announced at this thing. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. So, we're not, gonna, so obviously, excited. we're not going to go put all that. Um, My Series X is going to be used so much. I know. Game Pass, yes! <gasps> um, a, a game I think they're going to announce that's probably far off is going to be Fallout New Vegas 2. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's going to be the Fallout game they announce like I said, with the partnership of Obsidian and Bethesda, back again to make a sequel to what is considered the best Fallout game. Yeah. Um, by many people out there on the internets. No, like it's that. Not. Um, which I agree. It's a great game. It was super fun. So I, I would love to see that, and they've kind of alluded that um, more or less like, it's oh, like we're New, back. New Vegas and Fallout 76 are like right. No? You can leave anytime. Because <laughs> uh, they, they've alluded to it once, you know, Bethesda and Obsidian were back together. Like, ooh, do we get a... They've even tweeted, ooh, maybe we get a... a New follow- Vegas 2? Yeah, a New Vegas 2. And it's, hey, so, Bethesda, buddy. Yeah, there's been tweets. And I it's going to happen. I think that's what they're going to do to try to get the Fallout series back on track. Because yeah. that's, that's what's going to bring people in after the disaster... That was 76. Even though I've heard 76 is a, actually a pretty good game now, people don't forget the way it launched. That's yeah. the problem. Cyberpunk. Mm, boy. Yeah. But the last thing I think we're going to get, which was a big announcement on their last um, E3 and also the biggest letdown because they didn't do anything with it and they announced it too soon. That's Elder Scrolls 6. Yes. Um, I think we're actually going to get maybe some meat behind it instead of just a trailer in some cg mountains um i think we're gonna get some um, you know a good trailer and a good maybe just people talking about it i don't think we are gonna get gameplay yet Mm -mm. i think we're gonna get them saying yes this game is happening but i still think the soonest this game is gonna hit is late 2023 yeah i think that one's a ways off but once again they're trying to get faith back into their uh their base and that's a good way to do it's like hey there's a new new game coming out it's called, not Skyrim, but uh, it's a new Elder Scrolls game that might kick Skyrim's butt. Finally, 10 years later. It's crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hopefully we uh, do. That one I'm still kind of on the fence about because I think a lot of it is going to be focused on Starfield. Yeah. Um, 
So the yeah. bulk of the conference is going to be Starfield. That is what we think is. But I think the big about. question that us personally have yeah. talked about that we're not a hundred percent sure is, and it's never been officially said yet from good old Phil. Are these big, already established Bethesda titles going to be exclusive? Fallout. Doom. Elder Scrolls. Are they going to be exclusive, timed exclusives, or just release on all platforms day one? We don't know that. Um, they Starfield, ha- I'm just going to say what Is I've it- been saying the whole time. It's going to be exclusive to Xbox because it's a new IP. Yeah. So these, these existing IPs. Microsoft. It's um, going to come to PC. Yeah. These existing IPs, obviously... That's all, all up in the air. They've never given an actual answer. Phil Spencer's danced around it. Todd Howard's danced around it, saying, we don't want to limit the people playing the game. But then at the same time, they're saying, this purchase was all about bringing exclusive titles to where Game Pass exists. It's like, I do think that's true, but I think that's with new IP. My thought and prediction is that they are going to be timed exclusives, because Sony just did that with Bethesda recently, um, with Deathloop, with and, a time and exclusive, Ghostwire Tokyo. and Ghostwire Tokyo. So I think Microsoft's going to do the same thing and be like, well, how about that? Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Doom, all these other ones from now on are going to be one-year timed exclusives for Microsoft. You'll get them eventually if you want to wait, but if you want to play them right away, you got to come to where Game Pass exists, which, I mean, Game Pass is already at, what, 23 million subscribers, mm-hmm. which is yeah. insane. Um but yeah, I don't think that Microsoft is stupid enough, I'm just going to say it, to throw away money. Because, yes, I understand that they want to increase the Game Pass um, subscriptions because that's a big investment they've made. And if it succeeds the way it is, it's a big money maker there. But, I mean, what is it? I mean, 90 million all combined sales that were on other platforms of these games that's all of the franchises that's doom wolfenstein all of them that's a lot of money to throw away only only assuming that some of them would switch yeah and obviously some of them would switch to a different platform but not to everyone's in a position to buy another console yeah so but not only you got these fanboys that are going to be so loyal that instead of missing out on a game or instead of playing the game they're going to miss out on it and be like i didn't care about it anyway yeah it's going to happen I think Microsoft is going to give that treat and the plus of being a Xbox owner or a Game Pass subscriber and say you can play it right away, but the people that want to play it are still going to be able to a year or so later. Yeah, so that's what we think Microsoft's going to do. They don't have any other games coming out, especially not some that they showed off 11 months ago that look terrible and, you know, they've worked on and um it's kind, of, they kind of their biggest franchise that they've ever had in ever i don't think oh I, yes mm. halo halo from the other side Infinite. yeah so that's supposed to come out end of this year mm-hmm. um and we and haven't they're seen... supposed to blow us away with yes, these new updates because they blew us away in wrong a different direction. in a wrong direction 11 months ago when their first uh, trailer came out and everyone was like this looks like a 360 game. Yeah, even my, uh, at the time, eight-year-old son said, why does this new Halo look so old? <laughs> so, he, there's no bias there. He is a huge Halo fan, and he was let down by that trailer. An eight-year-old. An that's, eight-year-old. That's, that's who you let down, Microsoft. Eight-year-old, dude. <laughs> uh, I think they're going to obviously come out ending the show with the new Halo Infinite, um... Looking hopefully amazing in 4K and give us gameplay and the release yeah. date and everything that the fans want. Because if it's not, no matter what they did the entire conference, that's all people will remember. Yes. How how Halo looked. Yeah. So that's the big, the big, big, big kahuna there is uh, Halo Infinite. Yeah. So. so that's our predictions for Microsoft Bethesda. Um, some of the big ones that you know, are going to miss out on this. We're not going to see Gears this year. That's going to be next year. Maybe maybe we'll see some Forza stuff, but that's kind of expected at this point. Yeah. We, we're trying to talk about stuff that we... Big things. That might not be, like, expected. Yeah. Thing. I mean, we're not going to go to the, e, the EA conference talk about FIFA, for crying out loud. So. What's FIFA? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if we are totally wrong, let us know in the comments below. If you want to just make fun of us, because a lot of you do... Uh, you can just do that because it boosts our videos regardless of what you say. So keep it coming. We still love you. 
Uh, if you think we're actually pretty accurate, let us know. We would love to hear from all of you out there. Um, and then be sure to check out our subsequent E3 videos coming out mm -hmm. after this one to uh, keep in touch of what um, is coming out in the future. We will also be doing uh, reactions or uh, discussions after the conference comes out if yeah. we, uh, to talk about we'll how be. right or wrong we were. So check those out as well. They should be releasing shortly after the video themselves uh, before. Okay, let me rephrase that. Our reactions will release shortly after the conference. There you go. Which will come after this video. Big brain time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you like this video. Uh, let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Help us out a ton. Give us a big thumbs up. And we hope to see you again very soon on Super Platinum Achievement E3 2021 Summer of Gaming. Let's go.